Hey, Kalata fans, were you looking forward to a new Game of Thrones novel from George R.R. R. Martin? Guess what? It's not going to happen anytime soon. We're going to talk about that next. All right, Dennis, the support's coming through. We got it from Collider.com. George R.R. R. Martin has announced that once again, the sixth novel in his Song of Ice and Fire series, The Winds of Winter, will not be released in 2018. Another delay for this novel. Um, he, he's just saying, what is your reaction to this? I'm going to read some quotes uh, we'll talk about, but like, this is the basic point of this news piece is what's going on here? Well, the thing is, it's, I think, been six years since the, the last one, Dance of Dra with Dragons, came out. Right. And, you know, he's a notoriously... I don't know. I, I know people say he's like a slow writer, but his books are very, very long. It's yeah. not like he writes these short, like 100, 200 page books or right. something like that. His books are very, very long. And I think these are the, the last two that he's, he, that are coming out. Yes. And I think they, they're talking about it, them being like 1500 pages a, a piece. Right. But this one's been delayed because he's been working on something else. And what he's been working yeah. on is this other book called Fire and Blood, which is, you know, the Targaryen. Like, yeah, the, uh, the prequel, in essence. They're prequel books, in essence, right? Going back to Targaryen, first parts of this. Yeah. Aegon the First. Aegon the First, and, exactly. And like how they conquered uh, Westeros. And, yeah. And so, yes, he, he doesn't have Winds of Winter already, but he did work on something else, which, by the way, he, he wrote in that blog, which you're yeah. going to talk about, yeah. which is, uh, why don't you read that? Uh, yeah, he says it in his blog. He says, it's a hefty book, this Fire and Blood, uh, almost a thousand manuscript pages. Okay, 989, if you want to be precise. That's not quite as long as Game of Thrones or any of the later volumes in Song for Ice and Fire, but there's a lot of reading there, and I hope you'll enjoy it. This first volume covers all the Targaryen kings from Aegon the First, the Conqueror, to the Regency of Aegon the Third, the Dragonbane, along with their wives, wars, siblings, children, friends, rivals, laws, travels, and sundry other matters oh boy oh and there are dragons too and but he does go on further and talks about whether this could be fodder for another game of thrones series he says as most of you know hbo is presently developing a number of different prequels to game of thrones i know i'm going to be asked whether those shows are going to be based on material from fire and blood it's a logical question the only answer i can give is uh well no one is sure yet and anyway i am not allowed to say so let's move that to the side so i mean this is so he's he's been working you can't say he hasn't been working and he's yes. obviously been writing yes. but yeah i think there, there's then the article spec and I agree that he's waiting until the series ends, which they announced will be in 2019. The series will end, and then he will finish writing his stuff. But Benioff and Weiss have both said that they spoke with Martin about what his end game is. So we may get a preview of what the book is going to be like in that last series that they're shooting or that's coming out next year. Yeah, but I mean, from what I've read, book readers say that yes, there are similar things, but there's a lot of things that are different. Right. And so what's in that book may not happen stuff in that ne not necessarily comes from the television series right. right so book fans are waiting like okay maybe, let's see how this is different i think you know with, with fire and blood that's it's obvious they're gonna mine that for prequel material because right. th they're working on like four five six prequel ideas that doesn't mean that they're all gonna come out but there's yeah. definitely gonna be pitches for those and i'm sure with the money that game of thrones makes for hbo they're gonna at least green light two or three of those yeah, things, right? And, yeah, and they've already gone off the books for the uh, like they haven't used the books as a basis for the last uh, I think season and a half of their stuff, and they haven't always adhered to the books in even when they were using the books as a basis for their seasons. So it, it's not a it's not an out of the realm possibility that what we see in the TV show wait, might not necessarily pop up in the book, and what we see in the book may be more fleshed out than what we see in the TV show with some of the storylines. I think what's interesting too uh, is we'll be waiting a long time for this book to come out but people the obsession for game of thrones is not done and whereas we see walking dead the ratings falling apart this just makes people want it more mm -hmm. right it was the, the, the human truth the more you make me wait for something the more i want it you know um so you see this here i think with these prequels and everything like that, dennis do you think this this game of thrones train will ever like run out of steam as long as george is still kicking around yeah, I mean, not necessarily run a steam, but you don't want to oversaturate the, mm. the marketplace, right? There, you don't want like five Game of Thrones shows on air at the same time, right? Absolutely, you yeah. you want to, even two might be a little too much, at least on the same time, at least do yeah. kind of like a Walking Dead model where there's like, maybe there's one show on at one time and then it's off season and then another show starts. Right. But I, I think HBO probably, you know, use their influence, and influence I mean money, to, to get the George R. Martin's 
say, hey, why don't you work on this thing that we will use? Because I think right now with Benioff and Weiss, they know how they're going to end this series. Yep. The, the script's written. They're already starting shooting. So for them, they don't need the guidance for this particular storyline anymore. Right, right. So for them, the Winds of Winter coming out is not that big a deal. So HBO's like, eh, why don't you work on something that we can pull from yeah. for, for future series, <laughs> Yeah, keep, right? us, keep us sated in some way yeah. or satiated in some way, and then we'll we'll deal with the other stuff afterwards in a, in a year and a half. Well, what do you all think when you hear this news? Are you tired of George telling you, haven't finished the book yet? Or are you excited that he's been working on these prequels books and that they may be a possible spinoff series or prequel series on HBO? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media and keep watching here for more news from Collider just like this.